Welcome everyone to the next iteration of the Stubby Fan Ultra, the Shrike Ultra Drone. This blade configuration produces more thrust, less torque on the engine, and that that produces that releases more torque for the engine to actually drive um, the actual fan. So uh, this is a direct drive system. Requires no gearing whatsoever. Uh, never has. Uh, that was for the smaller version. Um, and that particular system was just a planetary gear system that you can generate in Fusion. Anybody who knows Fusion knows that. Um, and those who don't, you know, <laughs> well, you'll learn. Um, the point is that the PETG is on its way. It's getting here and we're going to start doing the fans first. Then we're going to start doing the external cases. So we're going to go in that order. And then the stator and the hub and everything else. So everything's good to go. I want to give a shout out to Car Athon. I will probably link his short that he did for me in this video or in this short. Because he asks me all the time. And I think it's fun. Because he asks me all the time to pick out a car. And then he does an edit for it with some music. And he's like really good at it. It's just... The way he throws it together. So I want to give him a shout out for that. Uh, so be prepared. We are going to be um, working on the LiDAR and mapping sensors um, as the print is happening for the body. Uh, we're going with Raspberry Pi using Python. Um, I have a decent LiDAR sensor and ground mapping sensors, cameras, so on and so forth, obstacle avoidance. All that's getting worked out. But the original flight that's going to take place is going to be the flight worthiness test at 9,600 RPMs per motor with a total four for an unbelievable amount of thrust. So we're going to see what happens. Everything is on its way for the winch system so that I can keep the drone up in the air and off the table while I'm working on it. So I can get underneath it for wiring ESCs, doing the bus bar work and all that other good stuff. So be prepared for that. And we will start showing the time-lapse prints as they come along. This is going to take a while to print, but it's going to be fun. And I cannot wait for you all to see it. So until next time, which shouldn't be too much longer from now, I will see you all soon. Make sure you're watching for it because you're going to enjoy this. This is going to be one big adventure and one big drone.